Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to show you a pretty easy early game gold chest farm. Um, its location is near the Ancient Spire Revelwood Fast Travel. Uh, the starting point is right down here. That's where you start the game. Uh, and where we're going is this shroud route right here. There are two gold chests in here. And in my opinion, it's pretty easy to get to. Um, all you need is to have your flame level three. Um, and then you'll be able to access both gold chests. But you don't need to have level three flame for one of them. Uh, so if we just fly over here from the spire, uh, make our way over to the cave where the two gold chests are at. It's not too far from here. Uh, the chests are level 11, so it's pretty early game. In my opinion, it is the fastest farm. Oh, there might even be a way where you can just jump in from the top here. This isn't the way I was thinking of. I didn't even know there was a a hole there. Uh, but the other entrance is right here. Um, level 11 enemies. It sh not, it's not too bad. If you have a bow and arrow or some some spells, you can take the enemies down it, down pretty quickly here. Uh, you can also ignore the enemies completely, but completely up to you. I placed a flame altar right down here. Um, so that way it's really fast to farm these chests. Uh, but anyway, let's get to the actual farm now. You can get multiple different materials here. Um, you can get the bones and animal fur from the wolves. Uh, there's sometimes amber spawning here. Low-level chests for with if you want some explosive balls. Um, some explosive powder balls. Ooh, Prayer of the Flame Scroll. But anyway, just climb this ladder. And we have the first gold chest. Um, and hey, look at that. Legendary. Um, you can also get the little loot right here. Some clay and some spells. And we're going to make our way to the second gold chest now, uh, which is less than 30 seconds away. So if we just come up right through here and get on up here, there's some more loot that you can get here. Uh, you can get these Azure Rasalas and some miscellaneous loot in, the, in these little containers here. So, it's a multi-purpose farm. And a little bit more right around the corner should be the second gold chest. Some wolves are guarding it. Um, they're pretty easy to take out. I mean, I, I'm level 25, but for level 5 to 11, they should be pretty easy. Hey, look at that. Warrior, warrior chest. Uh, so, and just... I, I farmed this for about... I would say an hour, and this is everything I got in my inventory. Uh, so we got, looks like, six legendary weapons, and they're all level 11. Uh, that's the armor we got, level 13 armor. Um, and then all of these materials and ruins, I dismantled anything that's not legendary, I just dismantled. So that got me about 1,100 ruins in about an hour. Um, and then to reset it, just simply uh, return to the main menu and just go back in. And it should spawn me at the flame right here, though I don't know if it will. Yep, it did. And then... So this first chest, though, you need to have flame level 3 to be able to enter this shroud. Um, so to make full advantage of this farm, make sure you have flame level three. Otherwise, you can still do this farm. You'll only be able to do one chest at a time, uh, which is that chest up there, um, where we're going right now. 
Um, but yeah, if you're not flame level three, you can just place a flame altar just right up here then. Uh, grab this loot if you want a little bit extra loot. You don't have to, but a little bit more materials. You can also get luminous. What is this? Luminous growth. Uh, if you wanted to mine that. Completely up to you. And then bones and animal fur. You get a little bit of levels from killing the wolves. So we got two purples, level 11. I'm going to go ahead and salvage those. And search this. And yeah, that's the farm. I uh, hope this helps you guys out. And on that note, I'll see you next time.